Okay, to be honest with y'all, I'm a piece of shit. That hasn't been like an already apparent fact by now. Like I flirt with girls I don't like. I want a car. Apparently that's the thing I've said. I don't want a hot wife. I hate money. Like I sound like, like I, I don't even know what metaphor to use here. Yeah, he just needs a lot of work. It's just like a pretty good Kurt Ritchie description. And typically they say you can't take the smell out of a piece of shit. And they're absolutely right. But no one said you couldn't spray it with a f ton of pledge furniture cleaner and hope for the best. And this process typically involves me finding flaws with myself and identifying them, usually involving some sort of escapade or mental breakdown. Occasionally both. Usually both. Both. But recently in this process, I found one problem that I don't think I need to fix. That problem being, I am incredibly selfish. What? See, there's this saying that you die twice. Once when you actually die, and again, the last time you're remembered. And that's scary. I mean, dying is bad enough, but who said y'all could double dip? Like, that's not, that's not okay. So in the meantime, I wanna do something to be remembered. Preferably to overshadow what stupid way I'd eventually check out on the world. And to be remembered these days, you gotta do something extremely noteworthy. Which I already understand, I probably won't ever really do. Like one of the most memorable people in history killed millions of people for their religion. And honestly, I don't have that kind of time on my hands. So I've opted to just on a small level, be selfless and being kind when I can and just like helping people out generally. Like think the Grinch in the latter half of the Grinch. Like you need advice? I got you. Need to defuse like a, a argument situation? Got you, done. Need to bury a body? Uh, no. You gotta burn it. Much easier way to get rid of evidence. Like, and I've always found this great for two specific reasons. For one, it just feels nice, man. I get this good feeling in my chest whenever I, you know, like, not do something shitty. It's great. And that good feeling is a somewhat kind of currency towards being remembered on that small level. And then two, I get something else out of it too. Like, I provide value to them and they might provide a little value back to me, you know what I'm saying? I don't know I said it like that, like in a sex, Wait, but I, you know. like if I help bury that body, they might not kill me too. Which I feel is like like a pretty fair trade off. But the thing is that this one is more in the vein of being selfish, which I didn't want. See, there's this whole ass philosophy concept that people don't help people to actually help people. They do it so they feel good about themselves. And I don't think that's me. But then again, I don't think I'm destroying my reputation by making these videos which I probably am. But I always figured as long as that is secondary to the first reasons, everything is ethically chill. But on some level, I always feel kind of weird about it. And I couldn't ever put my finger on why. Here's why. See, life has this habit of just slapping me across the face, usually just to say, Hey, yo, hey, Kurt. Yeah. You're still an ass. And life did that by almost slapping me across the face with the grill of someone's Audi. Yep, I uh, almost got hit by a car, which I, yes, I know that sounds like a big deal. It's really not, but I almost get hit by cars all the time. Like I've been in college for four years. Like yes, who will pay my tuition? Please. Like this isn't some karma thing. Like, I mean, I hope it isn't, but this was more of like the catalyst for me to realize some stuff. See this time, instead of just meandering on to class after I almost died like usual, I played a little thought experiment because that's what real people do after almost losing their lives. Lives. I asked myself, man, if I died right there, what would my final thoughts be? And the answer wasn't, man, I'm so glad I helped all those people and buried that body. Yuck, 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 yuck. No, I thought, man, I won't be remembered like this. See, what I realized is that I help people, but for selfish reasons. At least subconsciously, that's how I felt when it came to do or die. I cared about my legacy. Like help the kids in Africa. Yo, f the kids in Africa. What about me? But really, I, my main goal was to be remembered as opposed to actually helping. Like putting my name on the group project, but I wasn't there for like 80% of the class. I Meaning that quote was right. F you, Freud. Well, like I'm 100% positive it wasn't Freud that said that. Like, whoever said that, Who, whoever said that. And even now when I think about it, this whole selfish thing has like layers, dog. Like lasagna, like a selfish asshole lasagna. See, on top of wanting to die for self, <laughs> I read that wrong. On top of wanting to be remembered for selfish reasons, when I did help people, my number one reason really was to benefit me. And the worst human award goes to 
Kurt Ritchie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, this means thank you. Either doing that thing made me feel good about me, or somehow I'd get some value out of the person later on. Like actually helping the person, yeah, it's whatever, I guess that's a thing. Like again, putting my name on the project. I'm here on presentation day, dog. And what's more wild is, I was pretty happy about it, man. See, this is the part of the video where I backtrack on literally everything I've talked about. Like, I think most people think selfishness is like this exclusively bad thing. See, like selflessness is cool, sure, but so is self-care and sometimes being selfish is the answer to that. Like, I should feel good that I help people. Like, I think even if that's the primary reason, I should give advice and expect some form of value to be returned sometimes. Because if they don't ever give it back, that's a one-sided relationship. I don't wanna feel used, you know? I don't think I give enough care for me. Like, I don't think I can be mad at myself for wanting to be remembered. I, I do think now now I'm gonna try and focus more on me than some long lasting legacy though. There isn't necessarily anything wrong with living for yourself. Right? As long as your at least tertiary reason is to actually help. Cause then you're just being fake. Like I almost was. Yikes. What is up y'all? I am reporting off my laptop because I am not in state right now. But basically I just want to say real quick, Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed that video, check out my Why You Shouldn't Listen to Advice video by Tab, since, with Tabs. Uh, since, uh, since I'm giving advice, you should listen to Why You Shouldn't. I know it makes no sense. It's okay, though. Um, but yeah, uh, that's really about it. I, I got to get out of here because I'm not probably supposed to be recording. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.